Well, once again, here I am. Uh, I've got to... Uh, And we're already hitting the we're already hitting the, the red, dropping the frames, or or maybe not. I don't know. I think. Uh, I think I don't know. So I don't know what's going on. But anyway, I'm curvy calm. Bleh. I'm curvy calm. I'm a lamer and I suck. And uh it's 9:30 where I am and uh I don't know I'm getting a, a little bit of frame droppage but it seems to be going back up every time so maybe I'll just leave my stream uh bitrate where it is right now. I can always dial it back if I have to but I got to try keeping an eye on the on the little green dot and see if it turns red and it, it may or it may not so I don't really know but uh you know, I just, uh, uh, I just, I, I added this, uh, um, I added this stream boss thing, and I don't know really how, it, it kind of, kind of like, uh, I guess if someone makes a donation, it'll knock me out. This is a test bit alert. And and bits will heal, and subscriptions will heal, and this is a test. And follows will heal, but donations will like. This is a test donation for dollar. So uh. This is a test bit alert. So, uh, bits will heal, subscriptions will heal, follows will heal, and, and, uh, donations will knock out the, the boss. So, it kind of appears like that periodically. It doesn't this show all the time. Alert. I don't know if there's, uh, uh, I'm not sure how to, uh, change some of the set. Oh, damage per follow, damage per bit. Damage per subscriber, damage per dollar donation, uh, 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 um, yeah, yeah, I don't really understand. There's a lot of, uh, there's a lot of, uh, um, there's a lot of stuff there. Anyway, uh, it looks like, uh, it kind of works anyway, so I guess that's really all I need to know about that. And, uh, uh, and, Loud, Flaw, uh, thank you for the follow, and, uh, um, and Piggy Gaming TH, thank you for the follow back. And uh, Victoria Cannon, thank you for the follow back. Diamond X Black, thank you for the follow back. Zombie Slayer, thank you for the follow back. Uh, so, uh, um, I just want to make sure I've got like everyone followed back that should be followed back, and and. Uh, so anyway, I don't know what I'm doing. You know, see, the thing is, I just don't know what I'm doing. I keep adding things and doing things and changing things. And I really don't know what to do about any of this. So it's all kind of a mystery. I'm, I'm trying to keep an eye on the chat, you know, uh, so it doesn't take me 10 minutes to respond. It's hard because when you have ADD, you hyper focus on things and then you don't notice things around you. And... Uh, I don't know. Um, I'm a. Uh, I'm 
Um, thanks everyone for the host, Leonardo Twinkle, um, Mighty Dodo Bird, Shiga33, Vivium, um, MCK, Lingo, Lying GP, uh, Plague Fairy Ultimate Base, Vivium, Skirmy, uh, War Boss, uh, Ultimate Ivy, Captain T Beard, um, and all of you all, thank you so much. Uh, and if I see you on my auto host list, I will I will auto host you back. So uh, otherwise, it's hard for me to tell who's who. So the one sure way to make sure that I put you on my auto host is to put put me on my on your auto host, and then I will auto host back. So that's how I do it. That's one way of doing it. Anyway, it makes it easier. So. Uh, I'm still sick. I still feel pretty, pretty sick. But at least I'm feeling a little better now. Um, and thanks everyone for the lurks and the follows and the likes and the su subs and all the things that are still kind of partially a mystery to me how they work. But, uh, uh, I guess I should be like checking the mail, right? I'm running around. I'm running around like a mage that doesn't know what she's doing. But uh, I think I've got some money in here, probably. And see, this is what I mean. I, there's lots of stuff that just sold. And it's what low level mats and low level armor sells a lot better than high. So this is from my hunter and stuff. And. Uh, um, the low-level stuff, it just sells, it just sells more. Not all messages. So I got 1,500 gold here from low-level mats. Low-level materials, they always sell. So, uh... So when you start a new character, you know, don't, you know, hold on to that stuff and put it on the auction house because it's going to sell. I think this Lucky Charm is never going to sell, but maybe I need to check it out and see uh, see if it's priced correctly. Maybe it's priced incorrectly. Uh, and didn't I determine my hunter didn't wasn't wearing a cloak for some reason? I never put a cloak on her, and then I forgot to check that actually. So uh, you know maybe I should do that right now. Let me let me send her a let me send her a uh, um uh, let's see where where what's her name uh oh Aqualith right yeah let me send her these and these cloak enchants. Because they're not selling anyway, and then um, and uh, or I could just put an enchant on it. I guess uh, I've got these enchants. Maybe that's what I'll do. I'll just get I'll just get an heirloom. Let's see. Uh, so we want uh, class. We want uh, hunter, and we want a uh, beastmaster. And then let me see, what do we have cloak wise? I really, all I have is the inherited cloak of the Black Baron that goes to a hundred. Let me get that and I will, uh... oh no, no, she has a cloak. It was just hidden, right? That's why I didn't fix it. Oh, now I remember. Okay, so she does not need this actually. So I can just, uh... I can just send her these cloak enchants though and she can put something on it if she needs to. I don't know if she does, but she may have another enchant on there already, but let's see here. Uh, let's go ahead and open all this stuff. All this low level material stuff. These uh these 390 material uh um things. I'm I'm just going to I'm just going to um uh disenchant this stuff. Uh, a level 19. I'll keep the level. I'll keep the low level stuff, and then I've got some bracers not learned, and then I've got some. I've got a vest, not learned, 
and uh, uh, these can be disenchanted and that's always good for materials so uh, uh, let's do that and uh, see are there anything else is there anything else in the bank no I guess not so uh, I guess we'll just go ahead and auction this stuff then um, uh, I'm I'm kind of like uh, um, uh, I gotta click the right thing here. Let's dance in the auction house because that's what we do. It's tradition, and I'm gonna click the right thing this time, and it's gonna do a quick scan of the auction house. It takes 18 seconds, and then another like twice as much time maybe to to process. Uh, All right, so, uh, and now it is, now it is just sorting through all that data. But yeah, low level mats are where it's at. You can, you know, when you hit a, when you hit the max level in an area and you keep playing, the stuff you're going to get is not very good for selling. Might as well just disenchant it all. Unless it's got a particularly good appearance for transmog and stuff. So, you know, because I'm not all that organized, I usually put it up. Uh, I usually put it up um, on... Um, I usually put it up on... Oh my gosh. Gotta fix this. All right, there, that's how you do it. I'm gonna learn, I'm gonna learn how to do stuff like this better. And it's gonna be great. Okay, there, okay. Yeah, okay, get the hair off the ears. It's more comfortable that way. All right, so uh, I guess that's about it. And I guess I can, uh, I'll just, I want to check uh, some things like these. What's the lucky charm? Where is that? And what do I have that listed as that it's not selling? It's sort of a, what does it look like? L, I think these are, oh, there we go. Lucky charm. Uh, oh my gosh, no wonder. Uh, all right. No wonder that's not selling. Okay, there we go. I think that will probably be better. Uh, and uh, I don't know. There's probably other things that need 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 cost correction, but I don't know. I'm not really all that. Uh, I'm not going to be all that diligent. When I remember or notice something, I'll do this. But basically, I'm just gonna go with whatever so all right this can get batched this can get batched this can get batched and uh, I'm gonna batch these two and then uh, um, as far as this enchant formula, um, I don't know about this minor versatility. I can't imagine anyone is going to pay 200 gold for that. But if I do put 200 on it, I'll put a very low starting bid. And then at least somebody can bid on it if they see it and they'll get it. So, uh, um... And then this thing here looks like just an ordinary thing. I'm going to put, I'll put a hundred on it and nine for start so that it doesn't, uh, so that somebody can get it if it really isn't selling. I'd rather somebody have it than just, uh, you know, have it sit there and go get re-auctioned over and over. So I'm going to go ahead and post those two and that'll be it. And, uh, I'm going to, uh,
I'm going to go ahead and uh, I think that's it then for now. So today I'm going to log in on my Druid. I'm, I'm just, uh, uh, so yeah. Um, okay. She's waving goodbye to all the nice people. And, uh, Let's switch over to let's switch over to druid mode here. Although, man, I really have enjoyed playing the hunter, but uh, I didn't even play. I was sick yesterday, and so I I felt like just low level leveling, and so um, I've I've I did more transmog on my hunter. So, but I think basically a lot of these things, I don't have any really good red boots and. Uh, I don't have any really good red gloves, but I have these. This is what I'm doing here. Anything kind of reddish and reddy, reddy, bluey kind of color is kind of what I'm putting on here. And uh, um, some time ago, I got these leggings, and I had a higher level version of these that were a different color. And I guess the when I got this color, I didn't realize it at the time, but they were actually a lower level one, so she, she could wear this basic outfit from the beginning. So that was pretty cool, and uh, um, I think uh, I want to start with the Lisa though because um, I'm not I haven't been pl I didn't I think I actually missed playing her completely yesterday, which is bad because you know that means I miss out on a day of uh, farming stuff, and so uh, Let's get her, let's get her motley looking gear on. And, uh, um, and then at least I can plant some of the stuff that I need to for the, for the, um, for the quests. And here we are, we've got a crop of everything. So I'm going to harvest. Now, can I harvest things as a kitty? I, I wondered about that, actually. I guess you can. Okay, I guess that would come in handy when a vermin pops out. Because they will. There's a weed. Uh... Okay, weeds out. So I can do the harvesting as a kitty cat, I guess. Kitty, kitty. All right, it looks like there's a weed. I'll harvest the rest of these and then I'll deal with the weeds. If a vermin pops out, I'll slash him in his face. Um, all right. Okay, pull it out. There we go. It's out. All right, now, when it comes to this, okay, all right, uh, various factions in Pandaria, uh, All right, now, you've got to have, I see, for these for these to work, you've got to actually plant two plots worth. So, um, let me see what I've got in here. Do I have those big seed packs? I do have some, right? I got, I got melons. Uh, all right. Is that one that I need? Striped melon. I do. I have five charges, so I really could uh, do that. Uh, 
and I need to plant eight, so I need like two big plots of four. So you can't obviously do these all every day. So basically just some every day. Uh, I guess I'll plant all of this. You get no vermin and no weeds. Okay. So, all right. So, first of all, uh, see, what of the big things do I have? I guess I only have the striped melon, so I'll do striped melon. Okay. So, I'll plant. Striped melon, you really can only do four, even though, even if you can get it over. All right, so four melons, and I gotta do the. I gotta pull the giant weed out. Oof, okay. And here we go again on this. Come on, Valky, let's. Help me pull. Help me pull, Valky. Pull harder. Oof. Okay, I don't know if you helped that much, but... All right, let's see what I got here. This is runty. I can jump up and pull it up. And what else? Infested and wiggling and uh, arched. Okay, so wiggling is a thing. There's going to be a... All right, that's that. Okay, so parched... I think I've got my rusty watering can here. And here's my rusty watering can again. I got it. And here's another parched one. And uh, what else is there? Uh, looks like another part. Is that? It's growing. Okay, how many? Is this one growing? Okay, and then this one needs the bug spray. Okay. All right. Bugs are sprayed. Looks like they're all growing nice. Okay. And I sure do miss Farmer Yoon. He's, he was, he's been replaced by a pole. Now he stands over here in the market. At least he's not gone completely. I don't know where he lives now. Does he just hang out at the inn or at the market all day and night? All the live long day? Okay. Well, in any case, uh, so that's one thing I got to do. Work order. Okay. Well, that's all you can do today. Now now to wait for the harvest. Okay. The crops need only be tended and prepared for packing tomorrow. All right. Once your striped melons are ready to be picked, you'll, you'll need only to package them for pickup. All right. Plant and harvest. Okay. Um... And uh, let's see what it looks like here. So you basically have to, uh, you have to, uh, so you have to harvest them. I already got lots of striped melons already, but I got to harvest them anyway. So that's what you got to do. And then let's see here, witch berry seeds. So I got to get some, I got to get a thing of witch berry seeds. So let me do that first of all. I want to get the big seed packs, and I'll do that. Browse. Take your time. All right. Uh, bag of witchberry seeds. I'll take that. Uh, jade all right. Serpent guide you. Okay, the jade serpent. I I I sincerely hope will guide me, 
And I'm kind of doing this like all at the same time so that I don't forget to not do something or, uh, okay, so here's my witchberry seeds. I can plant them here and I can toss some witchberry seeds this way too. And there it is. Oh, what's this? Empty crate. Work order. Oh, I see. Okay, the empty crate waits to be filled and prepared for delivery. Oh, I see. So that's where it goes. All right, now let's see. So what do I have to do first? I'm going to go ahead and uh, uh, pull. Help me pull, Valky. Come on, Valky. Help me pull. Yeah, there you go. You're doing good. You're doing good. Keep pulling. Thank you. And uh, uh, there's a runty. I can pull it up. And do they ever just, do they ever just, uh, do they ever just, uh, okay. And then I got to do this thing here with, uh, all right, the big, the big weed. Okay. Okay, just gotta bite it when it when it tries to do its thing. All right, and then uh, so everything. Let's see. I got I got I need some bug spray here, and then I need to do a little watering, right? A little water there, and a little water there, and a little water there. Okay. And now everything's watered and waiting to go. Now, okay, witch berries planted. And here's my work order. Well, that's all you can do today. Now you gotta wait. Okay, we'll do. All right, so then once they're they're done, just think your witch berries will be part of your faction's efforts in Pandaria. Okay, good to see. And then so we've got now like uh, two different quests here, right? To to pack in. I thought maybe I had to fly over there and deliver them or something, but this have to be packed in the in the cart, I see. Alrighty then. So Alright. Now uh we gotta talk to Andy and find out something. Farmer Fung is pretty mean and just a little scary man. Always said that he was one of the best farmers in the valley, though. I think I know the perfect gift for, for a mean, kind of scary guy like him. Okay. Big Plains Hawks, grill the meat up, give soon. it to him. He'll love it. Okay. And uh, so let's see what we got here. Farmer Yoon, you going to give me something to plant or? No, not anymore. Stealing is bad. Restealing is okay. Okay. So here we are, Armor Yoon. May the mists protect you. Very good. And uh, Chi Chi. Okay. Not in Chi Chi backyard. All right. And and what do I got? A dish for Chi Chi. What is uh what is Chi Chi like? Blue Feathers and Valley Stir Fry. What is Gina Mudclaw like? Okay. Gina likes a Marsh Lily. All right. And Gina likes... Well. That. And, uh, okay, Chi Chi. What do I got for Chi Chi again? A dish for Chi Chi. Uh, Chi Chi likes work in the fields all day. And thank you very much, Jeffica15, for the host. Am I, do I have you on auto host? I, I want to check and make sure that I do, but I think I do. Um, 
The best way, if you're not sure, uh, I, it's, a, it's a kind of a big list at this point. So if you put me on your auto host, then I'll be able to see that because it'll say auto host you and then you can add them right from there. So it's a good way to do it. Um, uh, let's see. So uh, now that I'm hosted, let me see. Uh, I don't know how, how soon it shows up on this page. Uh, it kind of takes a while, I think, to show up. Oh, yeah, here we go, Jeffka. I'm adding you to my auto host now. I think I've done it now. Okay, sometimes you have to refresh it, and, and sometimes you have to wait a little while. So, yeah, I'm doing it. Okay, and uh, if you'll check your auto host, it should show that I'm auto hosting you now. So, uh, uh, let me see. What did you say? Have you added me? Uh, what's up? Uh, I've added you. Let me see. Uh, uh, what am I looking for here? Uh, I think so. Let me see. Uh, so I think, how do I, how do I find? Okay, right. I can, I can look over here and see if I'm auto hosting you. Is that how it works? Uh, yeah, uh, um, all right, let me see. Uh, yeah, I, yes, I have. Yes, I have. Uh, I found you on the list. You're on the list. Now, if you refresh your list, you'll you'll see it. it. It might take a little while to show, I guess. But I I mean I don't know. I've I've been auto hosting you for a while, so I guess it should should I should be there, you know. So uh, no problem. Yeah, I've been I've been auto hosting you for a while. So um, anyway. So that's that. I, I try to catch everything. When someone hosts me, I usually add them right away if I see it. And uh, sometimes it doesn't show right away. So that's why auto host is better. Then it'll, I'll have the list and I can auto host back. So that that works really well. Um, so let's see what else is going on here. Uh, May May Iron Paw. What does she want? She wants. The Mile High Grub, okay. Mushan Tail Stew. I hope to see you again. I will soon. get that for you. And then let's see. Farmer Fung, what's your Pick story? Up. Okay, water, water everywhere. I gotta get you some I gotta do some watering for you. I like watering your Until crops. Next time. You know, I got my own farm and I, I do have a lot to worry about, but I also, you know, I kinda like the idea that I'm helping you out too, Farmer Fung. So Ellie's gene is not asking me to break anyone's kneecaps today, so that's always a good day when I don't have to be the heavy, you know, because I don't really like that. I don't like threatening people and breaking their kneecaps and stuff. Uh, yeah, it shows, it shows, uh, sometimes you have to refresh it, although it's supposed to be updated in real time. Probably depends on your browser. It might depend on in some to some degree on your browser settings also. But just as long as you refresh it. Um, but it's been you've been on the list for a long time actually. And so, um, Yeah, I sure don't know now. I, okay, now another thing I wanted to do is like there were these quests you could where you can buy things, and you have to buy a quest item. So I want to try one of those and see what that is all about. Greetings. I think. Oh wait, it's not her May though. Your it's. Days bring you joy. I think it's Gina that Tell sells that travels. stuff. I think she has the quest items. Uh, I'd like to buy from you. You're the quartermaster now. Jin, Jin Yu Princess Irrigation System is what I'll be buying. Thunder King Pest re Repellers and Earth Slasher Master Plow. All right, 
So let's find out. Let's take one of these and see how it goes. All right. Farewell. So uh, the Jinyu Princess. The back of the box features a caricature of a Jinyu maiden surrounded by marketing copy. Okay. Hey there, Green Thumb. Are you pouting over parched pumpkins, crying over crusty cabbage? Are your leeks lame Are, and your melons melancholy? Then it's time you brought home the Jin, Jinyu princess. She'll, wa she'll wash over your garden like a sweet spring rain, dousing that drought with a deep draft of... It goes on like this for six pa paragraphs. Uh, okay. Now... Farmer Yoon, what Hello. do I do? Okay, the Jinyu Princess Irrigation System. A sprinkler system for the farm. Thank you. We can use this instead of the old watering can. Okay. The Jinyu Princess, eh? What's up with that? Yoon flips over the box and begins reading the back with a raised brow. All right. I don't even want to know. I'll get this installed right away. So you're going to still help me install this. No Thank you very much because you know what? You hardly did any work before, so let's see how this let's see how this goes. Now, is this gonna if I go over here, is this gonna show me? Uh, is this is gonna show me a thing that's there. Yeah, look at that. All right. So that means I don't have to carry the rusty watering can. Um, if I do discard the rusty watering can, uh, uh, it I think uh. Does that mean I can't pick it up here anymore, or is that, does it matter? Okay, I guess I can. Uh, and this is going to, this is going to water everything. Is that the idea? Isn't that neat? Sprinkler. Oh, look at that. It's like, uh, oh, look at that. Get rid of the rusty watering can. Don't need it anymore. Oh, you can still. Oh, you can still pick it up. Oh, you can pick up a uh, dented shovel. What's the dented shovel? Uh, remove a growing crop, destroying it. Oh, I didn't know you could do that. What's that? What? What else is there? There's the rusty water. So you can actually, uh, if you want to change a, if you want to change a crop out, you can. You don't have to wait for the next day if you don't want to. Well, that's good to know. Okay, and so if I put this dented shovel down, it'll be like I can pick it up again, right? And then I got the bug sprayer. If I put the bug sprayer down, then uh, is that also going to be like, uh, all right. Uh, and now where's the bug sprayer? I can't remember where I get the bug sprayer from. Is that over, over here, vintage bug sprayer? It's this thing. All right. I had no idea there was a shovel, so I can actually, uh, I can actually dig out things. Uh, well, that is very interesting. So I guess I want to do the, I guess I want to do all those things then, don't I? Well, I should have done that a long time ago. I didn't even really notice them at first, but all right, let's have a look here. I would like to buy from you. Okay, now. The Jinyu Princess Irrigation System, it's done. Thunder King Pest Repellers and Earth Slasher Master Plow. All right, so, uh, um, all right, so I'm gonna go ahead and take this next, and I'm gonna get, uh, an imposing image of a Mogu face dominates the box, casting its gaze downward at a nearly or at near, at looks like at nearly or at neatly ordered rows of bold text. Do not let weak, disgusting insects infest your glorious crops. Conquer them with the might of the Thunder King and protect your legacy. The rest of the space is uh, dedicated to cartoon depictions of various insects crying out in lament or fleeing in terror. Okay, very good. And Farmer Yoon. Okay, Tell what do we got here? Thunder King Pest Repellers. Pest Repellers? You're a genius. We can finally stop using that ancient bug sprayer. Okay. All right. Yoon beams as he looks over the box. Oh, yeah. Thunder King. That's what I'm talking about. I get 
I'll get this installed right away. Those bugs won't know what hit them. Oh my gosh, like a big bird fell on your head. Are you all right? Are you okay, Farmer Yoon? Um, so Next let's see. All right, and then... Uh, oh, look, the washed up mage is here again. How are you? Uh, these different people show up on different days, I guess. Uh, so let me see. And then the last thing is going to be... Uh, Tell me of your travels. Uh, let's see what it is. It's uh, Earth Slasher Master Plow. All right. I got it. And, uh... All right, let me see what I got here. The box depicts an, a, a Pandaren farmer of impossible physique, standing proudly astride a widening rift in the earth. A mighty plow in his grasp. Cubs wrestle playfully on his shoulders and damage or and dangle from his muscular arms. At his side, a stoic female of equally impossible physique balances a massive, overflowing cornucopia gracefully on her head while kicking a vermin in the face. The Earth Slasher, master of the land, master of your life. Okay. All right, Farmer Yoon. Welcome. Uh, the Earth Slasher, master plow. An Earth Slasher, master plow. Wow, I never thought I'd get to use one of these. Do you have any idea how much time this will save us? I heard if you push the Earth Slasher through 20 yards of solid rock, you end up with a sandbox and a citation from the Shadow Pan for causing an earthquake scare. This is going to be awesome. Jade serpents. All right. Now I've done it. So I'm going to go take a look at everything now and see what it all looks like. So I think... Uh, I think I need to do that, and then, uh, uh, I will see what I got now. All right. I don't see anything here. I, I, I don't know. Uh. Oh, yeah, here it is. Okay, so, uh, this is the pest repeller. Look at that. All right. And uh, as far as the master plow, I don't know. I'm not sure how that is going to work. Uh, is there a thing for that? Is that maybe you have to have a... Uh, oh, no, here it is. The Earth Shaker master plow. Let's see what happens when we put it up here. Use. Push the master plow forward for four seconds, making up... Breaking up any untilled soil in your path. All right. Let's see how this works. Uh, oh, I see. So we can just go, basically just go straight. So you can go in a line like this. You can go boom, 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 and plow that up. Um, that's pretty neat. Oh, look at that. Can I steer? Does it steer at all or no, huh? Probably no steering. Uh, no steering. You have to aim correctly. All right. You, de you have to. Your aim must be true, is what I'm noticing. So, uh, thank you very much, Jeffica. Um, I, I, yeah. Um, it's uh, you can add someone on the the configuration thing, but you can also look at your own. Like someone auto hosts you, and you know. So there's like. Hosting you and auto host you two tabs and if you go to the auto host you tab Then you go down the list You'll see someone that's auto hosting you and then you can add them right there. It's pretty easy I it took me a while to realize how it worked though You know like since I am a lamer and I suck I had no idea what what it all meant at first um, And you know I, I got to tell you like even I didn't even know what really what hosting meant I kept seeing people say thank you for the host and I didn't know what it meant, and I don't know what it is. And I finally gotten raided and gotten hosted and, and done some raiding and done some done some hosting too. So it's kind of like uh, it's kind of like uh, a neat like raiding is a neat way of hosting someone because you can kind of bring all your viewers with you if you're going to go offline anyway, and uh, it's kind of neat. So.
well, I could have done this a long time ago, and I could have had like the whole, the whole plow thing here. There's the, there's the. I guess I can leave. See, well, I can leave the plow. So if I if I put that down, that will put it there again. I got the shovel. I didn't realize I got a dented shovel, and I can use that to up to upload or to up um up end a crop if I have to. So that's kind of cool. Um, so I'm not really sure, like, so, uh, oh man, so, uh, I'm still a little sick, you guys, I'm, I'm, I caught a cold a few days ago, and it seems to be lingering on a little bit. And, uh... I got up today, I put a little color in my hair. I'm, I'm Like I said, I'm not very vain about it. I don't mind talking about it. I think it looks better on the stream. So, uh, you know, I've got... Might have missed a spot there, I don't know, but that could just be the way the light's hitting it, actually. I don't really know. It kind of looks like red. It's hard to tell, you know, really. So, uh, um, I actually don't know. Because if I pull this out, it kind of, the light hits it. I don't know. Who knows? It could just very well be a little weird streak in there. I don't know. It kind of looks like it might be, though. I don't know. Interesting, huh? Um... Am I, like, if I move around, is it showing? Yeah, I think it's actually, like, a place that needs, you know. I don't know. I don't, I'm not very diligent about it. I just think it looks generally better in the stream. And, uh, um, so, uh, I kind of like to dread my hair, too, you know, actually. Um, I'm kind of, I'm kind of like, oh, yeah, that's glaringly obvious, the spot here. Uh, I don't know, you know, I mean, it kind of looks like, I, I guess that's what it is, but I don't know, it's hard to say. Um, whatever I do is going to make it worse, probably. <laughs> I don't know, man, it looks like a, it looks like, it stands out like the proverbial store, sore thumb here, so evidently I just did not notice that today. But anyway, I ask because I don't put a lot of color in. I just kind of brush it on, and then I leave it in for a while. And, you know, I'm not very diligent with it. But if you keep doing it every so often that way, then it kind of end up covering everything. So, I don't know. That's my approach to it. It's not a very uh, diligent approach. It's not like you put a lot on, and then you cover everything. And I don't know. Anyway, so the point is, I think that is a spot where there needs to be more but um this is pretty much the color of my hair as far as uh um as far as uh you know like before it turned mostly gray it was pretty much this color you know this is kind of uh, as you can see you can see the pictures of me on my profile those were taken before my hair went gray so uh they look more presentable in one way or another i think but uh and then I do my dreadlocks up when I do it. I do my dreadlocks up to make to make it this color too. So it, it, I got a pretty good combination of colors that work, make it look like that. So, uh, but um, yeah, I don't know. This is not going to be a dreadlock channel or a makeover channel or whatever. But I just the fact is I'm not embarrassed about much of anything, and I'll pretty much talk about practically anything. So. Uh, I don't, uh, uh, you know, I like, I, some people will like lie about their age and, you know, um, I, I, I've just come to realize that, and Plaguey actually is, is, is the one who made me realize that if you're going to lie about your age. You've got to tell people you, you're older than you are, because that's going to really impress them. If you, if you tell them that it is, if, so if you're older and you look 40 or you look 30 or whatever, and you're much older than that. Well, that's not going to impress anyone if you sit. They ask how old you are, and you say, "Well, I'm 30." You know, if you look 30, they'll say, "Well, yeah, he looks about 30." So that's not going to make much of an impression. But if if you look 30 and you're actually 40, say, but what if you tell them you're 50? 
So you could say, well, I'm glad you say I look 30, but I'm actually 50. People will go, wow, you look awesome. You know, I can't believe that. So that's like, uh, would make a, if you're going to lie, it would make a bigger impression. You know, if you're going to just, uh, going to make, you know, if you, if you, if you, if you're going to lie, you should lie up, not down. It's, it's definitely going to have a greater impact. But, uh, so anyway, I guess we have like monkey stuff to do and I got to do, I got to get a plain sock egg and I also have to go irrigating, right? So let me go ahead and do that. I, I can, Wing Naga can, can lend me a kite here for that. And that's what I'm going to do. Wing Naga, I need to borrow Greetings. one of Farmer Fung's kites. I hope Thank to you, see you very much. Soon. I will bring it back, hopefully unharmed. And uh, we'll see how it goes here. You know what? I'm going to go take a quick break. I will be, I'm going to be flying around in circles here, but I'm just going to be right back. All right, I'm back. Okay. And uh, so I need to be, uh, I'm flying around in circles here. I need to be watering stuff. So I got to see what, what to water. There's something. Uh, is there something there? I couldn't tell. I guess not. Uh, there's one there. There. Uh, a couple there and there. Uh, I don't know. I'm not sure what I what I'm looking at here. Uh, here's one. Okay. Ah. 
Oh, gosh, if you put your hands in Vix, don't touch your eyes. That's not a good idea. That's going to make my eye water, probably. Oh, uh, looks like I touched my face. That's pretty dumb. All right. Uh, what am I doing? Watering. Where's some, where's some parched dry earth? That's what I need to find. Look, there's a guy that has, does he have a daily? Old hill paw? I can go get his dailies without going to the market? I didn't know that I could get the dailies without uh, going to the market. I should check that out then. Well, I did not know that at all. I got watering arms, you guys. All right, did I get them all? One more. All right, got it. Well, I want to go to Old Hillpaw's farm and see if, uh, if I fly around the farms, then I will get more dailies. Is that true? I didn't realize I could do that. I had no idea. They come to the market, and I thought they only had their dailies when they were at the market, but that's very interesting. I'm going to go over there right now. I just noticed. So... Uh, maybe that's one of the reasons why you go on that run, is to find people that still have dailies. Let's go. Let's go, Valky. Hillpaw, he's all the way over here, I think. Look, there's a quest right there. And who's that? Lost dog? <laughs> Lost and lonely. Ruff, ruff. Starving mangy dog whines piteously and attempts a brief wag of its tail. It looks like it could use a good meal right about now. Okay. All right. How do I get the tasty tea? Looks like tasty tea bones. Collect 20 tasty tea bones from the Sky Range Mushan or on the Sky Range in the Valley of the Four Winds. Is that here? Lost and Lonely? Yeah. Look at that. I never noticed that. Like, how many how many quests did I miss in here? I wonder. Was this dog going to come live with me if I feed it T-bones or what? Lost and Lonely Dog. I wonder who it belongs to. All right. So let's see. Uh, old Hillpaw, he's, his chicken coop's over here, right? Isn't this it? Uh, yeah, look, he's got a daily. Mm -hmm. A dish for old... Oh, no, it's just a dish for old hill paw. I see. Right, I get it. Okay, what is he getting? Uh, braised turtle. He likes braised turtle. I see. Okay, I can give him the... If I happen Enough to have it. their favorite food, I can find them and, and they'll... I see. So that's the idea. I get it now. Okay, it's not like their dailies. They do come to town for their dailies, but uh, uh, are they gonna fly past here? Uh, I got one. All right. All right, very good. I think I got the, I got the planes hawk thing, right? And. Hire a farm and I can't do that. I need a bestie. I need a bestie in order to do that. So I want Gina Mudclaw to be my bestie. I think that would be the one. Have the quartermaster be your bestie. I think that's the way to go. Uh, all right. I was supposed to get 
I'm supposed to get some tribe members, but uh, I guess there's no reason why I couldn't go with this guy, huh? All right. I've done it. Okay, so uh, what else? What else was there? Was so what about the T-bones? Tasty T-bones. They're gonna be up here. And uh, oh, are these them or tasty? Yeah. So those are the Mushan, huh? All right. I can get this guy. And uh, these guys here are always good for a lot of a lot of uh, um, skin. Uh. Okay. Okay. Is that everything? Okay. All right. There's some tea leaves here. All right. I'm going to do a whole bunch of auto hosting soon, you guys, because, uh, um, I got some premieres I want to put out, and basically you can't have reruns running when that's happening. So, uh, let's see. Can I can I aggro all these guys if I? All right. I kind of like getting these because the leather is valuable. And so are the herbs. The herbs also are valuable. And they're right here. So you might as well get them when you can. And so when it comes to tasty T-bones, or just these guys, huh? All right. I got tasty T-bones and I got hide. Exotic leather. Alright. Got a lot of T-bones there. And, uh... Okay, I get a lot of stuff out of that. I think I've killed all the monkeys I need to kill anyway. Uh, here's an herb. I know I need more T-bones, I'm pretty sure. Okay, these can be skinned. So let's see. Uh, And I gotta make Mushan Tail stew. Uh, do I have Mushan Tail? How do I know if I have Mushan Tail? I need to use it by the bonfire. Uh, Mushan Ribs. Tail. I don't have any tail. I think that's in my hidden quest. Prepare 20 bowls of Mushan tail stew. Have you ever tried Mushan tails? Okay, you see there's a trick to making the perfect Mushan tail. I already gathered the ingredients. Okay, so I don't need the tails. I've got them already. They're in the pot, right? They're in the pot right now. What am I doing here? Uh, all right. Now, 
So when it comes to the Mushan... Uh, all right, well, I want to do this, right? Okay, I want to get all their stuff. I got a lesser charm of good fortune from that. That's interesting. I wonder how often those drop. All right, is that it? One more. All right, and that's that, okay. Okay, that can go. I gotta get tasty T-bones. I don't know how many I can get from each one, but. Okay, you can get more than one from each one, I guess. Okay. Yeah, you know, this well, the way you loot uh, skin, this is what you used to have to do with all looting in WoW. Back in the day, you had to click on everything separately, and it took forever to loot everything, even if you had it on auto, which I, ha I still have it at, out of habit. I have it on auto. Okay. I got some T-Bone. I think I need one more T-Bone here. One more tasty T-Bone. All right. Not just one T-Bone to make this dog happy, but 20. Really. This is a hungry dog. It's a very hungry dog. Okay. Uh, I have never encountered this thing before. Ah, there's some moosh on. All right. Oh, look. What's this? Oh, is this a pet? The tillers. What is your hurry? A dish for show. Oh, I can. It's 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 a dish. I can give you a dish for show. What do you, what do you like? You like eternal blossom fish. Ah, yes. A warrior Stay needs focused. her strength. Very good. Okay, you're up here. That's it's interesting. You're kind of here checking out the monkeys. All right. Well, there's something here. And uh, it kind of looks like I have some kind of objective here, too. Uh, stolen veggies. I'm supposed to steal these back, right? Okay. Okay, there's some here, or there's something here. Stolen vegetable. Okay. Now here's my, oh, there's an herb. And then here's my last Mushan. I think I can get a T-bone from him, right? Okay. I got it. I got one T-bone and I can skin him too. He doesn't have one too many in there. Oh, look. All right. Uh... Okay, I can steal some vegetables. Are there some more around here where there are? They keep piling them up, evidently. Uh, when it comes to the vegetables, I guess I can grab them in bird form. There's a Kunzen swimming around in the water. And, oh. Uh, this is for the birds, boy, this cold, I gotta tell you. Hey, Plaguey's lurking. Uh, thank you for the lurk, Plaguey. I know you're in the next room, but I appreciate it nonetheless. And uh, here's the bonfire. Uh, here's an herb I can grab. Might as well grab it while I'm here. And... Uh, 
I need vegetables, stolen vegetables. There they are. I can grab those. I see some more over here. Here's some, a whole bunch of them. All right. Look at that. There's actually like a bunch of them. I can keep grabbing them. Is that all? All right. What, what am I doing here? How come I'm... Okay, I see. Oh, I see. All right, here's a bunch of vegetables here. Fourteen of sixteen, so I need a few more. Here's some. All right, here come some monkeys. All right, and there's an herb. And I see, I see another herb here too. That herb is too big for you, Valky, to pull out, so you shouldn't even try. I know you want to help, don't you? He says, yeah, wants to help. I think that's what she means. I'm not sure I understand what her intentions are all the time. You know, I'm not actually sure. So, so it's it's kind of like uh, just uh, kind of have to you just kind of have to you have to read between the lines with Valky. You know, Valky is not the most transparent individual one would ever meet. I think she is very uh, deep and complicated. I wish I had the pet biscuit to make her bigger too. That'd be nice. But uh, I don't know. Let's see what I got. Is one more. Th it says a one more thing up here. Uh, Mushan. Oh, Mushan tail stew. I've got to make the meat. I got to make the stew at the bonfire. Right. It's right here. Is anyone here? No. Okay. Let's make this. Let's make this Valky. Let's do it. Come on, Valky. Help me out. Help me out. Stir the stew. Oh, look at that. I'm making them one at a time. Okay. 20. 20. And what the heck? Oh, that's a player. And now what? Now I've got like monkeys attacking me for making stew here. Is that what they did? Why did, why, why did they care? Why do they care? I'm, I'm not even, it's not like, if I were running around killing them, which of course I was at one point, but you know, why come out now and attack me? It seems strange. Okay, they didn't like the, they didn't like the stew making process that I was going through. She, they did not approve of me making stew there. So, uh, all right. Don't they know you have to be at a high altitude to make Mushan tail stew? They should know, they should realize that. And who's that? Is that a rare? Okay. All right. All right. Stealth Kitty. I like my chances at this, at my current level, so. Okay. And what did I get? Plow driving grips. Yeah, I need a plow driving ring, though. I don't know, crit and haste. Maybe I'll switch that out. I think I will. Oh, wait. Oh, it's plate. Never mind. I guess I can't. It's soul bound. And it's just something I can sell. So basically, there's no point in me even having that. Let me see. I've got some plump intestines. They probably have gold in them. 
everything else is uh, I guess I guess I should give it a sort here uh, all right I guess that's about it all right so let me see where I am in the grand scheme of things okay well somewhere here there's this little guy what's gonna happen here with uh, what's gonna happen here with this guy this little guy huh Um, let's find out. We flew over this and I just saw him. It was just a complete accident that I noticed there was a quest icon. And I flew down here and, uh, there was this little guy, poor little guy here, poor little pup. Just kind of starving away. A light comes into the dog's eyes. It seems to recognize you. Tasty T-bone. You can eat 20 of these, can't you? Okay. The dog perks its ears up at the sight of juicy steak. As soon as you throw it down, the dog starts eating ravenously. That's a good boy. That's a good boy. And? Is that it? Lost dog? What can I do? Is there anything? Just feed the dog and... Oh, now what? Is the dog going to follow me? Oh, the dog's maybe going to find his way home. I should probably follow him and see where he's going to go. I, he's probably just going to run a, a few hundred feet and then disappear, but that'd be my guess. And that's what he's going to do. Okay, so that's it. That's the end of that story. Okay. All right. Uh, so basically nothing there. So back to the market, basically, here. Swirling mist soup and marsh lilies. May okay. your days bring you joy. Now I don't have do I have swirling mist soup? Or did I already give her some? Swirling mist. Swirling mist soup, I only have two. And can I make more? I cannot. I need jade lungfish for that. Okay, so, uh, all right, well, in any case, I like to make, I like to have that ready because I, I know say. she likes it, so. Okay, Chi-Chi. All right. Chi-Chi knew you could do it. Okay, now I'd be friends with Chi-Chi, friendlier with Chi-Chi. How am I doing with Chi-Chi? Uh, acquaintance, I'm an acquaintance with Chi-Chi now. Okay, Farmer Yoon. Hello. Stealing is bad, but re-stealing is good. I've got them. Here we are. Okay. There is no hurry. Slow down. White Tiger watch over you. Welcome. So, Mushan Tail Stew. All right. May your days Very good. bring you joy. Okay, my days will hopefully bring me joy. What is this now? Uh, oh, I have to grill. I have master of the grill guy. I have to well, grill this thing. Okay, please grill this leg protected. for me. And now I can give this to Farmer Fung. Speak up. Okay, a gift for Farmer Fung. Harumph. Okay, where did you get that? I thought we were at, they were out of Plains Hawk. And he asked you to get this for me, huh? Maybe I underestimated that kid. Goodbye. Well, isn't that nice? Slow isn't it nice? Down. Until next time. Okay. So, uh, what what all is going on now? So this is secondhand, uh, and once again, Gina. Tell me of your travels. How am I doing with Gina? Okay, considers me a good friend. I wonder if I get over the hump here. I wonder if she'll be a best friend. But 
I guess I have to get some swirling mist soup, though. But I don't know if she, because I don't know I if I had enough. But I guess I want to go down and uh, and talk to the tillers, and then I can do some fishing while I'm there. I kind of like the idea of that. So, all right, that's what I'm going to do right now. I'm going to fly down there. Greetings. Tillers, be right there. Okay. So this is cool. I got an irrigation system and a bug system and an um and a plow. That's awesome. I even discovered I had a rusty old shovel that I could use to dig up crops if I wanted to replant different things. So that's a good thing. So, oh, come on, here we go. We're going to go, we're going to go see Nat. All right. And uh, Fufuk is here. <laughs> Certain fish are very difficult to catch. The wolf piranha falls fairly squarely into that category. Lucky for me that you showed up. Put these fishing skills to the test and bring me back a few from the Caressarang River, north, west of here. All right. And. Okay. Angler Hello. Shen. Riverblade Sauroc clans attacking our expedition. I know how to take care of them. On me. And, uh... Yo, can I help you with something? Turns out those rays are not easy to, as easy to catch as I thought. You seem like a pretty smart guy. I've made some bombs. Having trouble using this raft. The way I hunt with my hurt leg. Okay, you've probably hurt your leg from, from dynamite fishing. I'm guessing. Security, but, enforcement, extortion, we do it all. We do it all, yeah, okay. So, uh, all right. Come on, where's the, can't get on the raft. Here we go. All right, I'm on the raft. So what happens if I, uh, can I use my own raft? I kind of wonder, can I? What happens if I use my raft? Can I still use the bombs? I guess I can still use the bombs even on my own raft, okay. I want to use the bombs here. They're, they're sort of a, uh, uh, let me see here. I need to, I need to put those bombs on my, on my special key here. Okay, here we go. I think the trick to the bombs is to see. I think that probably that might that might hit him. Got him. Okay. All right. If I go right over him too, then I think also another way of doing it is like whoop. Another way of doing it is like like. Whoop. Let me see. Another way of doing it is like this. If I go right over them, I think that I can... that the, the bomb will drop right where they are. Uh, that works, actually. Okay. Alright, let me see. Uh, but, looks like I could just throw these... I got a bunch of bombs here. All right, how many of these do I need to get? Uh, oh, I guess that's it. I guess I've done it. Okay, so then in that case, 
I just gotta... I just have to, uh... Okay. These ones that are already fighting are pretty easy. Okay. Well, of course, I'm kind of over-leveled for the area now, but... I'm not really one-shotting anything yet, though. I mean, for the most part. Uh, uh, if I can one-shot him with that, I guess. Alright. That's the Raiders. Alright. Let's have a look. Here. Uh, a little look-see at where I'm going. So, I gotta do some fishing, too. So basically, just anywhere I, I can fish. I, I've i determined that for this location, the best place to go is the headwaters. Oh, Arn is the scale. Let's, let's see. Can I get him? He's got some, uh, he's got some crabs or something. Oh, and his, his little crabs are like... His, 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 uh... His vice claws are... Do they drop much? They don't drop much. But I got a bunch of stuff from him. Let me see, what did I get? Small bag of goods. Unearthed Dojani head cover. Uh, oh, look. Oh, I got a purple. It's too bad. You know, you can get some purple from these guys, but this is not one I can wear right now. Um, so, uh, six, level 605. This is not going to be anywhere close to that. Level 457. So, uh, oh, BOE. It's a BOE male, purple item. And, uh,. And those it's leggings. And then this is uh, Unearthed Dojani head cover. And it's a plate piece that I cannot do anything with. And then there's a bag of stuff that's given me some other stuff. Ghost iron ore, I guess. And, uh... Okay. Oh, these guys can be skinned, too, I didn't realize. I don't know if I'm going to be in time for this. All right. Well, that was interesting. Anyway, I've determined that best place to fish for this is uh, if you go to the other side of this big sandbar in the center, this land area, uh, you go past the big temple, then you can kind of camp out here somewhere. And this is like a pretty good place. And nobody's going to bother you over there too much. So you kind of just follow along get to the mouth of the river over here. So I wonder why the Elder Vice Claws are, are elites. I wonder what the reason for them being elite is, or if there even is a reason. So somewhere here is a good place. I kind of like camp right here at one of these, on one of these rocks. And then, uh, then here I can fish. Uh, and I should technically be able to find enough wolf piranha. And if I fish here for a while, I might get some jade lungfish or something. But... I don't know, you mostly get carp on these things. Oh, you guys, I'm still sick, too.
All right. All right. Now I can relax and just do a little fishing. Maybe I'll catch some stuff that I can pick back with. Little crate of beer or spring water or something. Looks like I need to make a trip to the bank too. My goodness, great. <laughs> goodness. <laughs> well, that was interesting. I'm still sneezing, though, aren't I? I feel mostly okay, but um, I'm still sneezing, evidently. Oh. So, I'm collecting piranha, but did I get... I still don't have a jade lungfish. Might have to go to the jade forest for that. I got a little chair I can sit on. My first and only chair. Even when I've had a lot of gold, I don't know, I've never successfully uh, won an auction from the black market auction house either. might have to go to uh, <clears throat> I might just have to go to the to the uh, to the jade forest and do some fishing there
I don't know if I'm really still feverish or not, but I feel a little flushed, though. So. Still feels like maybe a little bit. Oh. Well, I probably have all the stuff now that I need, but I don't know. I see no evidence that any kind of jade lungfish is going to show up here. I don't know. Now, maybe I'll, like, if I go back down to, uh... Hello. If I go back down to the incursion, there is I'll no... fly back that way. And... If I go back down to, to where Nat is, I think I could fish in the ocean, and I think that uh, gives me a different. Uh, so now I'm in an estuary. I think if I go to the ocean, I get different fish, at least partially. So. But we'll kind of see, I guess what we get. I don't understand why Nat doesn't have a flight master, but he doesn't. Coming in for a landing here. Okay. That's where I'm heading. Just to cross into the sea here. The Narsong Trench. All right, I guess I gotta, okay, wait. Fufuk, I can, I can turn in these quests here. Okay, plus I really, I really can't improve my friendship with Nat unless I, uh, unless I find the fish he likes. So, uh, Greetings, wanderer. that's gonna take a while too. Me. And, Spit it out. Do not get on Gallywish's face. Okay. You need something? Now it'll show me Nat Pagel. Nat, Nat Pagel considers you a pal. Safe travel. And so now I think when I click on these guys, oh, well, I guess I won't, won't give me anything. So it doesn't matter. These guys. Okay, so if I want to fish in the ocean, uh, what about a fishing raft then, huh? All right, let's try. Try the fishing raft. Okay, that means I can go out here into the ocean and fish. I'm going to see what this is called. Like, if I come out here... I get out over the shelf, I think it's going to be called the great something, you know, it'll be called some other name. I wonder if we can fish in the black water here. Let's find out if you can fish anything from the black water. Reef octopus. 
I guess I don't want to be in the black water, though. Guess not. Okay. This occurred to me that might be kind of a cool thing to find out if we get something weird fishing in the black water, like some death fish or night, you know, deathly night fish or something. All right, can't do that. Can you sit down on the raft? You can't sit down on the raft. Can't uh, trigger a, a thing. I guess it goes on the sea floor. Let's see what we get here out of this. I'm still kind of getting the same stuff here. Well, I'm not getting anything resembling that. So, uh, when it comes to lungfish, ah, you can't. All right. My birdie feet were stuck in the raft somehow. Well, let's see here. I can go to the... Can I assist you? Somewhere in the Jade Forest. Like, I could go to per Pearlfin Village. Goddess, watch over. That's, that'd be a good place to fish, I guess. See how that goes.
Well, that's a good piece of music too. It's kind of half a march and a battle music and fanfare. So, yeah, Paraffin Village is where I'm going. Paraffin? Pearlfin. Pearlfin. Pearlfin Village. Pearlfin Village is where I'm headed. Yeah, okay. So, uh, I think if I get there, I think that's where I was able to find Jade Lungfish. Uh, I don't know. I've, I've, I haven't fished in, like, all the locations either, but... Uh, but that, I mean, typically how WoW has always been is certain fish you could catch more in certain areas, and so uh, uh, you can't just catch anything anywhere. Although you can catch a few, you know, random ones. Uh, uh, There's a jade lungfish school right there. So I could conceivably fish for that, right? Right there. Um. get a few of those from here anyway. So, uh, and then I should be able to make some, uh, I should be able to make some some uh, swirling mist soup for Gina. If I haven't, I don't remember if I gave her some already. Yeah, you can only do it once. So they have two things you can cook, you know. Um, and I kept forgetting when I went up around the monkey zone, I could have been looking for dirt. And if, if you find loose earth, you can find little goodies out there. I guess I would get some here eventually, but... Yeah, okay. Uh... I thought I saw some, yeah, there's a... There's a, a thing there I can fish on. I like having the raft. Bulky seems to like it too. Although she doesn't sit down on it, she always hovers over it. Uh... Plenty of it now, though. All right. Uh, I don't know. I don't 
don't see anything really, uh... Yeah. Oops, what did I just do? Wrong thing. All right. And, uh... Where's my flight master around here? I know he's around here somewhere. Uh, so close. I know I'm so close to him. Uh, why, why can't I see him? Uh, well, it shows that I'm right on top of him here. Who is he? Where Where is the flight? Oh, I think the the map might be a little wrong. He's over here, actually. Okay. So, uh, I haven't caught any rare fish, but I can go back to the Half Hill Market and cook some stuff and see if I can give another thingy to Gina. I think maybe, I don't remember if I had enough for her, so I can cook some of it. Okay. We'll see. <clears throat> we'll see how we do. I did not get a rare fish. I, I, I guess I need to fish for a little longer. But uh, I don't know if I'll do that now or what. Maybe I will, though. Maybe I'll just get in there and fish for a while. Maybe get in the river and fish something. Oh, it's raining. I wonder if it's raining for everyone. Like when it rains in WoW, is it just raining for you uh, since the weather doesn't really do anything? Is it just random for you or is it for everyone that's in the game at that moment that's in that area? Actually, I've never investigated that. In all the years I've played WoW, I never, I've never investigated it. There's the big guy there. Okay, Grumble guy. <laughs> Many deals for a friend of the Grumbles. <laughs> like you. Like me. I've got some uh, gray things you can have. And uh, let's see what else we got here. Uh, that's a soulbound plate item. You may have that. And uh, I've got a, so another soulbound plate item. You may have that also. Nothing I can do about that. And uh, oh my goodness, see this is a uh, this is a BOA BOE mail item, but um, we'll see what it looks like. By the way, it doesn't look like much of anything really. It's kind of got that paneling on the side, like some things have in the game. But apart from that, it doesn't really have, there's nothing significant about it, really. Uh, kind of a cream-colored thing, and it's got kind of 
a panel of stuff on it or whatever. But I guess that's something that can go to a mail wearer. But it's going to have to be a pretty high level one because I, you know, I don't think I have, I don't think I have a high level mail wearer. And, and um, de um, Death Knights wear plate and Demon Hunters wear leather, I think. Uh, uh, yeah, so that's that. Good fortune to our friends. So, uh, right, I was just going to go cook some, uh, okay. I was going to cook some swirling mist soup. I'll create all of it that I can. Uh, I got all of my, uh, I got all of my, 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 my different way, uh, way of the whatever foods to over 575 so I've got the I still have yet to get the final recipe in each one you have to get 600 for that <clears throat> so alrighty then um, so swirling mist I don't know if I can let me see if oh, I've given you uh, no I guess I've already done it I guess I've already done it. Uh, May your days bring you but joy. But I've got plenty of swirling mist for you now, though, Gina. So we'll see how that goes. I'll see you tomorrow with that. And uh, then I'm going to fill that order. Got a couple of orders I can fill. And then I can... Uh, when I fill those orders, I'll... Oh, look! The dog! He's here! He can't, he did he did join me at my farm. Well that's very nice. Roof, roof, roof. Hey boy, how are you? You want more steak? You you, you ate twenty T bones. You're probably not hungry right now. So uh Alright. Alright. So that's that. So, very interesting that. Uh, that's very interesting. So, uh, um, I'm going to say, uh, No, I'm gonna go. I'm gonna head south and go in the river and fish in there for a while or something. So what's this? This is sort of an area. This is another place that you could fish. Fish right here. Uh. So. we go. Barely reach it. So... Restaurant paddlefish. 
I don't know what I'll find here if I fish here for a while. Probably not a lot, though. Probably not. And fishing, you know, it's riveting, riveting stuff. It's it's uh, it's highly compelling to watch. We're going for the viewer retention here, the massive viewer retention with the with the fishing in World of Warcraft. There's nothing better. It's kind of what I mean, though, about about when I stream. I really just do what I want. I really, um, I really just do what I feel like, and you know, I really don't care that much about whether it's the most popular thing to do or whatever. It just sort of, uh, I just do what I like, actually. And, uh, if people want to watch, I think that's terrific. And if they don't, that's that's fine too. So I'm okay with it. I'm okay with it either way. As far as the magic formula that's going to get someone to partner status, I don't know what that is. I mean, it's going to be. It doesn't really seem like when you look at who gets that, it doesn't seem to have much to do with. Uh, with their what game they play or whatever it's just they they are good at maybe getting a rapport with enough people might be hard to do you know if you're kind of an introvert or whatever I, I, I'm not sure actually. Um, maybe you've got enough auto hosts and, and people that host you and, uh, and that's kind of a thing that might might help to I don't know. I'm not getting any rare fish though, I can see that. Ugh. Yeah, I got one. I got a flying tiger gourami. At least I got that. Okay. That's something. Oh, I heard that sound. That was not a sound of the fishing thing. That was something from the music I just heard. Yeah, I guess that's it for now. I, I'm. I think I can only. Uh, I can only do so much at a time right now. I think I really am still pretty sick, so. At least I'm a little sick, so I think I'm going to go back to the inn, and I'm going to take a little rest. And I'll probably be back in a few hours. I was not very good at estimating my time starting today. I ended up starting, I thought, I, I got up, and then I thought, okay, I probably could start an hour early, and then I ended up starting about an hour late. So, not very good when it comes to the... Oh, I guess I should turn this in, right? Before I do anything, before I, uh, before I hang it up for the night, I guess I should turn, I should turn in this thing. I'm going to use my hearth when I get down there, though, because I really don't want to fly back. And I probably got, let me see what all I got. Oh, and I wanted to go to the bank, too. If I don't go, I'm going to be sorry that I didn't go. So maybe I should go right after I get here. Maybe after I turn this fish in, I'm going to go go to the bank and put all my reagents in. And uh, I think some of these things I can... I still have a Negrand cherry. One more. <laughs> Been carrying around since Negrand. Got a scroll of versatility, which I guess I can use. And, uh... 
So, here you go, Nat. Hello. Flying Tiger Garami. Nat considers me a pal. I'm just going to click through that. I want to see like see how later. much I got for Nat. What can I do for you? Looks like he's going to still need a couple more to get over to the next level. I know what the next level is going to be. I don't even know what the friend, the friendship level stuff is. Like Nat, Nat Pagel, you're a legend. You're a legend, you Nat Pagel. Tell me of your troubles. All right. This is Soulbound. I can sell this. Uh, all right. Serpent. So, uh, Jade Serpent, watch over me. I hope you will. I hope the Jade Serpent will watch over me. Um, I gotta go over here, I guess, to where the Light Master is. Then I'm gonna go to the shrine. Uh. All right. Shrine of the Seven Stars. That's where that's where the magic happens, you guys. The magic happens there. In case you're wondering where the magic happens, that is the place. I could get that daily quest hub while I'm at it too. So, yeah, I'm not sure what the, uh, I'm not sure what the thing is with the Black Prince. I've been thinking about that. I should probably look that up. Um, it is a rep uh, thing, but it's probably a dungeon rep, I'd be my guess. Because I haven't seen anything really to help that would, that, that would involve that. Guy. So it must be a, must be a dungeon rep thing. That, that, that's, I'm just guessing, of course, I really don't. But oh, my goodness gracious. Here I am at the shrine. So I got to do two things while I'm here. I got to go to the bank. Because I want to put my reagents in there. And so here we are. I think the bank is up here on the back here. I don't I don't ever remember which side the bank is on. Uh this is a transmogger. This is obviously not oh wait, this could be where the bank is. All right, yeah, bankers here, auctioneers not oh, here. Hello. Hello. I've got. Uh, I don't even have any bags in my bag slots. I got one bag slot. There's no point in getting it, really. I got Sandrine's invisible vest. I wish you could transmog. It's there. You just can't see it. But I can't transmog that. I got Mirin's drinking hat, Insignia of the Alliance. You don't really need that. Why do I even have that? Because you have the inherited Insignia. All right. Well, in any case, let's deposit all these things and let's sort them out. So, uh, all right, uh, so things I don't need in here are those, any kind of herbs I don't need, 
So all of this stuff, all the cooking stuff, I don't know about the ancient Pandar and spices. That was probably a currency at one time. You probably had to use those in, uh, in some of the recipes. But I bet you you don't even get that any. I bet you don't even need that anymore. So let's see. Uh, Hyperite. I don't need that to be there. Ghost iron ore, prismatic scale, exotic leather, and wind wool cloth. Uh, yeah. Yeah, I got the wind wool cloth. I don't have a lot of it, but I have some of it. And uh, I guess what I should do with that is... Uh, Farewell. I should probably make the cheap bandages. I need eight of them, but... But I only have seven, so that's fine. Okay, so I've come here for this. I did this. All right, so then in that case, uh. I'm running around really fast in here. And then I have to go, uh... Okay, uh... There's gonna be a jumping off point here quest. I do not know where the, where the, uh... The archaeology quest is there's supposed to be one from here. I just don't know. Please browse my wares. August Celestials. Okay. They're gonna tell me about the three magical animals. And August Celestial. There it is. Okay, Celestials hold them back for now, but... May the mist protect you. All right, and that's that. I guess I'm gonna hit that. I'm gonna take that quest, and I'm going to hearth back to the inn. And I'm gonna see, you know, like what I can mail back and what I can get rid of, but I don't need it. Yes, that really empties out the bags nicely. And I'm uh, going the wrong way, as usual. So, let's see. So, first of all... Okay, a mail item. Who has mail? Well, my hunter has mail, and I might as well send it to her because she's the one I'm leveling right now. So she's more likely going to be able to use it at some point. But I don't have a high level male wearer, so... I don't believe. So she can have that. And put it in the bank or whatever. And then, uh... Banker... She can have this, but it's cloth anyway, but she will, uh... She will be able to uh, sell that. And then basically all this stuff uh, is valuable so it can be sold. And that appears to be about everything. Uh, uh, let me see. Uh, yeah, okay. I guess that's about it. I don't know, Master Healing Potion. Sell that. I'm 
hardly going to need that. And, uh, I don't know, I could take, I she could sell that too. Everything else here that I, that I have that's interesting is sold down. Seeds, there's no point. Uh, I got bandages and... All right, I guess that's about everything. So let's see. Uh, I think I'm gonna. I think I'm gonna call it, you guys. Uh, I've got. Uh, I've got kind of a. Um, uh, I've got kind of a, what am I trying to say? Uh, I got kind of a desire to, to get on my banker. So maybe I'll do that just now. Because I'm just kind of curious, like maybe what's coming in or what's... Uh, We know there's going to be some things in there. And it looks like there's some money in there too, yeah? I think so. I think there is. Let's see what we got. Low level materials. Uh, always sell. That's a thing that you discover is, is people use it during leveling and stuff. And so, you know, lower level stuff, you lower level materials, lower level gear always sells. And, uh, uh, I can refresh the whole list here because it's a short list and I'm not gonna I'm not going to bother just doing the whole refresh thing. And, uh... And she's going to... She makes funny faces when she dances. I don't know. They're funny looking. The, the new models, they're a little more whimsical in their expressions and stuff. If you, if you switch to the old models, uh... Um, I think that's in here, right? If, if, if and you still, if you can still do that, I believe you can. Yeah, show here's the old character model. So if I do this, return to the game. All right. In a way, I like them better. You know. She's not making funny faces and, and doing her weird, uh... Basically, the other stuff basically looks the same. You know, there's more polygons on the new models. But maybe the faces kind of look, in a way, uh, not better, but, uh... But they look more normal, like, uh, they're less exaggerated. So if I switch to the new models, uh, I believe that's that. Now she's making funny faces when she dances. Her mouth gets really big and she makes kind of quirky, wacky faces. And, you know, here's, uh, I don't know if she looks any different. I, she does look a little different. And I think there's more polygons if you kind of look at the arms, the shoulders might be more polygons in here it's hard to say but it kind of looks like there are a few more um, um, it's all about the textures though what makes things look real or that they were made out of polygons is uh, is textures the textures are right and then they look good on the polygons and you really can't see that it's polygons unless you get really really close because of the textures It's hard to see it, you know. So, uh, anyway, uh, I think probably, 
I can I can uh, auction this stuff. Highborn scroll. Okay. Stitched robe of the eagle. I'm not sure why that would be. Oh no, did I just hide it? I did. I did. Uh, you know, I keep forgetting that that's not the way you do that. Uh. Oh no. Okay, there we go. Um, if I want to look at that. You can do it the normal way there like that. I'm not sure why that's something that people would want badly in transmog. I don't know. Let's just say. And we'll try that as a price and see how that works. Uh, is this damaged? Why, why can't I sell it? Oh, no, minimum bid. Okay. Okay, fine. All right, how's that? Roll tablet. Okay. Okay. I'm just going to post that at that price and then see how this looks here. This is not looking good here. Uh, let's see. Uh, okay. I'm thinking this is probably about what I'm going to do here. this and that'll do okay I guess we'll call that we'll call that a thing and uh, well she just kind of chill out here and, uh, I guess that's gonna be it here for now so I think uh, I think that's gonna do it for now I'll be back though in, you know, like a few hours and we'll just go from there and we'll see what happens. And, uh, you know, I, I, I kind of, it's kind of been the way, like I'm still sick, but I kind of chill out a little, rest up a little bit and then I feel fine to go on another couple hours or so. So there you go. Anyway, bye-bye.